Hey, what's up guys? Today we're back and playing Dig or Die, and I wanted to show you my base that I've been working on quite recently, and yep, it's my big base. That's what I called it. I specifically tried to make the ultimate base, trying to make it huge, self-sufficient, and having everything that the game has to offer so far. And let's get started. So, this is my base as of right now. It has so many turrets. I can't even tell you guys how long it took me to make all these turrets, but it was so worth it. I don't know, just the feeling of having so many turrets around you just protecting you. Every room has turrets. I have little repair turrets in between all of them. Um, just so many turrets surrounding my base. And it took a while to get this many resources to make this, these turrets. And these are the upgraded, better turrets if any of you have actually played this game. Um, they're not... They're, in my opinion, the best turret, but there are other turrets that are a little harder to create, but I have those. I'll show you those guys really quick. And oh, it's raining, so you can't really see them. Right. Yep, you can't see them right now. It's these three turrets here and those three turrets there. Um, those are kind of hard to make. I also have this turret, only have a few of those. Um, I don't like them as much as these other bigger turrets because they're these guys can only shoot in a straight line, which kind of sucks. These guys only shoot in a very short distance. I can actually show you. If I can, let's me break it, there we are. Um, that short little distance, so I don't really like it. These other turrets have a huge range and they do pretty good damage, so that's why I make so many of them. And yeah, so I, I have pretty much everything in this game. Um, I have a teleporter. I was trying to make my own garden, it wasn't really working at all, but I have my solar panels hooked up. It all works, they're on right now. Um, I could put plants down, but they never seem to grow. I even added a little spot for them to get water. I can just open that up. And, oh, I used to have a little hole there. Anyways, don't have any more. Um, and this is my hydroelectric thing. I open the door, and I get full power, and it goes over to here as well, but I don't really need them. Um, that's why I have this huge pond. This pond is also very useful, as um, if you ever play this game, it, to make these little repair bots you have to kill what they're called as tiger sharks these little guys and they are I don't know it's it was hard for me to get a bunch of little skins but there they are right there this is kind of like a farm for me they will spawn and yeah I'll just have a ton of them laying here when I come back to check so this is my little my little uh, decent sized base I'm not gonna say it's huge I probably there are probably bigger bases but I definitely put some time into it but I really enjoyed this game it was definitely worth the money I paid and I loved every minute I played of it. Um, you guys should definitely check it out. Uh, let's go into my teleporter. I'll show you where it takes me. Brings me all the way down to this, the subterranean lake where you can fight the monster crab, which is that way. Um, I already killed him, obviously, and he gives you the so you can make this huge weapon. Um, and I already went down to where you can get to the ants below everything straight down here uh, I had to put these up to stop the water um, and the reason why I'm swimming so slow is because I have my jetpack on and yeah so my the real pain in the butt was making a teleporter down here in the actual work and how I had to do that I actually had to make since I didn't want to make a uh, hydro powered little thing using water I actually got solar panels put them at the very top and used a ton of copper wire all the way up as you can see on this right hand side this is where all the copper had to go and I put lights on it I also made little trenches on the side over here so that if something tries to attack my wall they'll just fall down and they'll hit the concrete at the bottom and die so it's a little defense without me having to put any turrets up so it's kinda nice um, takes a while to get up this thing um, alright here we are so yeah here's my little solar panels and yeah so that's pretty much my base guys I have little structures where I had to get the uh, up in the sky they're nothing special I was gonna add little turrets and have it little safe bases but I decided not to I just continue to add the turrets around my base and fortify it even more to make it even cooler anyways I really enjoyed this game it was so cool to make all these little turrets and I just love any games with turrets um, if you guys have any suggestions on what you want me to build or what you want me to add to my uh, base please let me know in the comments section below um, also if you want me to do any guides or any help um, I did this whole thing on 
uh, normal, I think it was, 75 HP, and it wasn't wasn't too hard. It took a little bit of time, but it wasn't too bad. I've tried Brutal. It's insanely hard, but if you guys want me to try to make a little series on Brutal, just let me know in the comment section. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, um, my little tour of my base, and um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Please subscribe if you enjoyed it and you want to see more. Alright guys, I'll see you later.